Well, the peak season for weddings is about to begin with celebrations and, of course, the spending. The average cost of a wedding is around $15,000, according to the industry's wedding report. But Consumer Reports has some advice on how to stay within a budget. Jackie and Adam Fletcher did everything they could to save money on their wedding. The key, they say, was negotiating. Everything from my wedding dress to the flowers to the decorations. They also bargained with the caterer to allow them to provide their own alcohol. We probably saved somewhere between three and five thousand dollars on the alcohol just buying it ourselves. Consumer Reports has just investigated the high cost of weddings and has come up with 31 ways to save. We found ways to save on everything from the venue and the dress to the photographer, the food, the flowers, and still have a beautiful, stylish day. One great way to save, schedule the wedding for any time but Saturday night. Or go for January or February. Often those are the cheapest months. And don't let vendors charge more just because it's a wedding. I am calling because I'm trying to um, get some estimates. Consumer Reports secret shoppers found a good percentage of businesses do just that. In our calls, we found that photographers and limo services often charged more for weddings. But when asked, some businesses suggested lower priced alternatives. Some other ways to save, limit the entree choices, limit the hours of the open bar, consider serving only beer and wine, send the photographer home an hour early. A lot of guests will have left by then. And a final tip from the Fletchers, when it comes to flowers, let your florist pick what is in season. They'll be the least expensive. To this day, people say it was the best wedding they'd ever been to. And that, that feels really good. With your Consumer News, I'm Mallory Maddox. Consumer Reports adds that check that contract real carefully. It finds that some caters, caters include a built-in tip as high as 26%, and one they found charged a $7 per person fee to cut a cake brought in from a separate business.